G'day Spike, I think I've implemented fixes for both things. What I'm showing you here is the uh, shape of the continuous function. So these points where it changes from being horizontal to being on a gradient are defined by the walk run and stand walk thresholds. And there's um, a continuous period here for the negative direction and then this is for the positive direction. Anything above the walk run threshold is treated as running forward or running backwards and anything less than the stand walk threshold in either polarity is treated as being still. So I'll just run the program. And here we have it, it defaults to continuous mode. Um, and you can see it's outputting a neutral signal right now. Um, I'll switch it on, joystick output. We're getting a much higher refresh rate. You can see over here it's ticking by very quickly and I can turn this up and down, you can see the numbers update much more quickly as well. Um, and as I do that, you can see the dead zone here and then we tick over 20 and it starts to gradually move down till we get to 50 and then it, it caps at the run in that direction. And I'll just quickly pause this so I can reverse the polarity. So I've reversed the polarity now and I can turn it back the other way and we should get this going up. And it does that in a more continuous way than before. I've kept the previous functionality too, in case you did want that. So you can go to discrete, you get the same slider as before. And now when you go above 20, it just jumps straight up to the 20 position. And when you get above 50, it jumps straight up to run. Um, and that run is defined by this position. So when it's in continuous mode, run is all the way. Um, and the walk um, is that whole period back down to where you're standing still. So I think that's better. Um, I won't know for sure if it's right until we try it in the lab, but um, it seems pretty good on my desktop.